Assalamu alaikum. I saw Asrar Rashid when he mentions Ibn Arabi. He says, Ibn Arabi rahimahullah. May Allah grant him mercy. He was in fact an Akbari. He had Akbari positions. He was pro as Sheikh Muhyiddin ibn Arabi rahimahullah. Just to clarify, Akbari, what, what do you mean by Akbari here? Akbari is in reference to a hybrid. That hybrid is the, if you have a mixture of not the thoughts of Muhyiddin ibn Arabi, because he's, he wasn't a philosopher. Do not believe that Ibn Arabi was a philosopher. Ibn Arabi was a man of Kash. So what he wrote down, very few people actually understand him, by the way. Very few people actually understand him. He's an ignorant person. He doesn't know who's Ibn Arabi. Ibn Arabi said in his book, Fusus al-Hikam, page 83, فَيَحْمَدُنِي وَأَحْمَدُهُ وَيَعْبُدُنِي وَأَعْبُدُهُ He's talking about Allah. Allah praises me and worships me. And I praise him and I worship him. فَتَارَةً أُقِرُّ بِهِ Sometimes I believe in him. وَفِي الْأَحْيَانِ أَجْحَدُهُ And some other times I deny him. Well, despite his heresy, he's still better than the Wahhabis. How dare Asa Rashid you say about Ibn Arabi Rahimahullah. Now you may say, all oh, those books, uh, those books refer to him. Someone added things in them. Where is the evidence? The evidence is Azir Wahhab al-Sharani, the Sufi said, we are sure that uh, uh, the Jews had penetrated some other statements in his book. So did you know Ibn Arabi from other sources other than his books? Number one. Number two, Ibn Hajar described him as mulhid. Ibn Hajar dispraised him. And he said that he's mulhid. He's heretic. No, but he described him also that he is kafir. So how do you say rahimahullah? He's saying that Allah worships me. Now, one of the current leaders of the Ash'ari, Sa'id Fuda, he kept for about one hour proving that all the books today of Ibn Arabi, they are in reality his books. <laughs> لا يوجد دس دعوة الدس تحتاج لبرهان دليل دليل ظني أنا والله أول من, أق... من يقبل به أول من يقبل به مش آخر من يقبل به ابن عربي ثبت والمخطوطات ما زالت موجودة حتى الآن أنه كتب الفتوحات المكية المرة الأولى انتهى منها للمرة الأولى في سنة 626 قبل وفاته بحوالي 11 سنة أول مرة انتهى من الفتوحات المكية هذه يسمونها النسخة القديمة النسخة الأولى للفتوحات هذه النسخة موجودة نعم موجودة وموجودة بنسخة خطية مع عثر عليها إشي في تركيا وإشي في المغرب غير النسخة القونية. I want you, I refer you to my lecture under that title in Arabic to see the evidences, the clear evidences Said Fuda gave to prove that all the books of heresy written by Ibn Arabi. There is no messing with it. They are absolutely his books. Then, despite his confession, he keeps saying, Rahimahullah, may Allah grant him mercy. Here you can see, for example, Ibn Arabi saying <clears throat> that the Khatam of Nabiyyin, he takes the source of his knowledge from Khatam al-Awliya. And he makes himself Khatam al-Awliya. There is no wali to Allah after Ibn Arabi. This man is filled with heresy. And uh, Asrar Rashid says, Rahimahullah. Look, in this book, he says that Allah is the great human. And those who worship the calf, it's the same worship of Allah. 
And Pharaoh is mu'min, is not kafir. Here he gives a poetry saying, فَلَوْلَاهُ وَلَوْلَانَ لَمَا كَانَ الَّذِي كَانَ فَإِنَّا عَيْنَهُ حَقًّا إِذَا مَا قُلْتَ إِنْسَانًا فَكُنْ حَقًّا وَكُنْ خَلْقًا تَكُنْ بِاللَّهِ رَحْمَانًا أعوذ بالله from this kufr. He's saying we are ourselves Allah. فَكُنْ حَقًّا وَكُنْ خَلْقًا Be true and be creature. تَكُنْ بِاللَّهِ رَحْمَانًا then you'll be merciful towards Allah. This is Ibn Arabi, whom Asrar Rashid praises and calls him a Shaykhul Akbar. He is the greatest Shaykh. He is Akbar, yes, but Shaytan Akbar for what he's saying. Don't get angry. Your anger should be for the sake of Allah. Not for the sake of kafir, for the sake of your cult, for the sake of your madhab, for the sake of yourself. Let it be for the sake of Allah. I have presented the evidences from his books about what he says. And I have showed that Ibn Hajar called him kafir. He was asking his sheikh, if Ibn al-Farid is kafir. Ibn al-Farid has a book called Diwan ibn al-Farid. He addresses Allah and flirts him with the female pronoun as if Allah is female. And Ibn Arabi is saying the same thing. So why Ibn al-Farid is kafir while Ibn Arabi is not? Then Ibn Hajar said, Shaykh al-Islam did not give an answer to my question. How long are you going to be fanatically following this man who is glorifying a kafir, who is... Words of blasphemy are worse even than Christians. He's saying that Allah worship me. Fusus al-Hakam, page 83, as you saw. And yet, Asra Rashid says, He's the greatest shaykh. Rahimahullah. No, Amin. Dear brothers, prepare for the shock. Now, plus 18. If you have your children here with you, or your wife, or your daughter, tell them to go to another room. Because I will mention something horrible from the book of Abdul Wahab al-Sha'rani, whom Asra Rashid believes that he's a great Akbari scholar. Akbari. Allahu Akbar. That reminds me about what Allah said in the Quran, that the people... The Jews and the Christians, they used to be taking their clerics, saints, as lords. If you mention Sharani, you have to say Akbari. Just like we say Allahu Akbar. And the Sharani is Akbari. Now, prepare for the shock. If you have children, daughters, tell them to go to another room. Because I'm going to quote something horrible that this Sha'rani, Mukharrif, superstitious man, look what he said. That when I got married with my wife Fatima, Ahmad al-Badawi, the great Akbari scholar, in his grave, he told me to come to my grave. And he prepared for me some food and candies and stuff. And he said to me, Break her virginity here. <laughs> That's your Akbari, Sheikh. Mr. Asrar Rashid. That is in his book, Tabaqat al-Sha'rani. First volume, page 268. Isn't this shameful? You call him Akbari? And his own book also, Tabaqat al-Sha'rani. He also said the same thing. Similar to what he said about the books of Ibn Arabi, that they were blocked. Someone added, inserted editions to his book. Would you believe those people? Would I be leaving Ibn Hajar and the great scholars like Al Az ibn Abdul Salam? He said, Al Az ibn Abdul Salam, the Ash'ari, he said that 
ابن عربي شيخ سوء ايفل شيخ يقول بقدم العالم he believes that the world is eternal ولا يحرم فرجا there is no woman's private part that is haram all women's private part are halal for him who said that العز ابن عبد السلام الذهبي says about his books if these books of Ibn Arabi do not contain kufr, it means I do not know kufr in this world. <laughs> Imam al Dhahabi, he said it. Why do you praise him and calling him Akbari? Giving him the same word which we give in the Adam. Allahu Akbar. So Ibn Arabi also Akbar. Maybe because Allah worships him according to what he says. You have here the book Tabaqat al Sufiya, Tabaqat al Awliya, for one of the most distinguished Sufi person whose name is Ibn al Mulaqin. He narrated that Al Az ibn Abd al Salam, the great Ash'ari cleric, he was criticizing Ibn Arabi. And the filthiest book among what he wrote, and the filthiest book among what Ibn Arabi wrote, is his book, Fusus al Hikam, in which it contained that Allah worships Ibn Arabi. A Sharani is jumping his wife, breaking her virginity in a public place, right at the grave of Ahmad Badawi, believing that Ahmad Badawi can see him. What's going on, Asrar al-Rashid? This is superstition. Khurafa. Porno. And he's Akbari to you. Sharani Akbari. Ibn Arabi Akbari. Whom you may say, he said it. That uh, there's, a, there's a doubt in his books. He's the one who, when he got married with his wife, Fatima, he went to the temple, to the grave of Ahmad Badawi, the great Sufi leader. And Ahmad Badawi said while he's in his grave, break her virginity in front of me here. So just to trust someone who said, we're sure that some people wrote penetrated things in the books of Ibn Arabi. That's not an academic evidence. We need an academic evidence. Especially when we find great scholars like Ibn Hajar al-Asqalani. He dispraises Ibn Arabi saying that he is mulhid. Mulhid is zandiq, heretic. So how do you say rahimahullah to someone who said that Allah worship me? Do you have any answer to this, Isra Rashid? Among the ancient scholars, um, we have... Uh, Murtada Zabidi, the explainer of Ihya Alum al Din, he admitted that these books are really in reality written by Ibn Arabi. There is no doubt, no one can have any doubt about it, that it's been written by his way of writing. That means his way of writing of writing is well known. And Al Murtada Zabidi admitted that Ibn Arabi, yes. He said that Fir'aun is believer mu'min. And Zabidi is Sufi, not Wahhabi. And among the contemporary Ash'ari leaders is Sa'id Fuda, as I outlined before. And he says there is no doubt. And the manuscripts are still available in the library of Ibn Arabi in Qunia in Turkey. And his disciple was writing his book, Fusus al-Hakam and al-Futuhat al makkiya in the presence of Ibn Arabi. So the Ash'aris prove that Fusus al-Hakam belongs to Ibn Arabi. There's no way to deny. Bring. Let, if, if you are an academic person, bring the proofs. And the Sufi colleagues are not evident should not be believed when he talks about his wife like that. Look what Ibn Hajar said about Ibn Arabi. 
He said Ibn Arabi used to be magnifying Al-Hallaj. And he is one of Ahlul Ilhad, one of the people of heresy, Ilhad. And he is one of the people of Wahdatul Wujud. Wahdatul Wujud means he believed that Allah and his creatures are one. Wah! Worse than Christians. Christians say the three are one, but Ibn Arabi says all are one. And you say he's Akbari Shaykh, and he's one of the people of Kashf. Why he's Akbari? Because he's Ahlul Kashf. What, what do you mean by Akbari here? Akbari is in reference to a hybrid. Ibn Arabi was a man of Kashf. So what he wrote down, very few people actually understand him, by the way. Excuse me, Islam is for, the, for all types of people. Islam is easy, not difficult, and it's for all mankind, not for special people. Ahlul Kashf, yani, they have access to see what's in Al Arsh of Allah, what's in the other, in the upper world. He knows the unseen, he knows the future. Ahlul Kashf. Why Abu Bakr was not among Ahlul Kashf? Why Umar not? Why Abu Huraira not? Why Anas bin Malik not? But only the Sufi, Sharani, and Ibn Arabi, they are Akbari because they are Ahlul Kashf. Stop it! You are leading people to hell with this kind of belief. Asra Rashid. Ibn Arabi is described by Ibn Hajar that he believes that Allah and his creatures are one. And he praises Al Hallaj. You know who's Al Hallaj? Al Hallaj is the one who said, I am Allah. I am Allah. There is no one that is inside this cloth except Allah. Ibn Hajar al Haytami, despite being enemy to Ibn Taymiyyah, when he was asked about Al Hallaj saying, I am Allah, he said, You know, these words of the awliya should not be criticized. They have their own special meaning. And Al Hallaj is a great person of honor. This is the enemy of Ibn Taymiyyah. And also, this Ibn Hajar al Haytami, the fanatic, he said, Despite we glorify Ibn Arabi, but his belief that Pharaoh is Mu'min is unaccepted, unjustified. He mentioned that in his book, Az-Zawajir an Iqtiraf al-Kaba'ir, the second major sin, page, first volume, pages 82 to 83. I swear by Allah, if it was Ibn Taymiyyah who said these words, they would have been flying with it, going everywhere in the world, warning against Ibn Taymiyyah. Look what Ibn Taymiyyah said. But since that was Ibn Arabi who said it, that Allah is a human, that Allah has organ, human organs, that Fir'aun is a believer, a mu'min. That's why a great Hanafi Imam, his name is Mullah Ali Qari. He has a book. You know what the title of that book is? فَرُّ العون مِنْ إِيمَانِ فرعون <laughs> فَرُّ العون مِنْ إِيمَانِ فرعون That means disowning oneself from this horrible claim that Fir'aun is a believer, faithful, mu'min. Who said that? Ibn Arabi, whom your Shaykh Asrar Rashid is respecting and magnifying and calling him the Shaykh of Kashf. Do you see that Kashf? Kashf means it reveals to him the news of the upper world. Kashf. That Kashf led Ibn Arabi to say that Pharaoh is Mu'min, that Allah is human, that Allah and his creatures are one, that Allah worships him as well as he worships Allah. This is an important book for Mullah Ali Qari al Hanafi who refuted Ibn Arabi for claiming that Fir'aun is a believer. Look, do you want a debate about Ibn Arabi? Or your Ash'ari Madhab, you said your Ash'ari, I'm ready for you. I'm ready. Let's go. I have the telephone number of brother whose, whose name is Deli Hussein. I'll ask him to open camera, zoom, 
between me and Asrar Rashid. Are you ready, Asrar Rashid? I'm ready for you. I'm ready. Insha'Allah. <laughs> Ibn Hajar denounces, dispraised Ibn Arabi because he used to be praising Al-Hallaj. Poor Pakistani people who are following you, they know nothing about these facts. But I invite you for a debate, especially now about Ibn Arabi. Special debate about Bid'ah, as I mentioned in my previous video. Which of the two statements of the Prophet, uh, sorry, which of the two statements is more correct? Every Bid'ah is misguidance or not every Bid'ah is misguidance. Prepare yourself for a debate about this and about Ibn Arabi. I'm ready for you. Continue.